In this video, I want to show you how to connect your Google Ads account with your YouTube account. And the reason you would want to do this is because if you want to run video ads, uh, video ads are actually run from within the Google Ads dashboard. However, Google Ads relies on YouTube to house all of its video, uh, video and media. So if you want to run video ads, um, you're going to run the ads from Google Ads, but you're going to draw upon YouTube's uh, library of videos. And um, that's the way that you can, you know, sort of make those two networks uh, talk and cooperate. Um, this is a little counter to the way other networks work. If you're used to running video ads in Facebook, uh, you know that you're actually uploading the ad directly inside of the Facebook ad manager dashboard. So you would be forgiven uh, for thinking that, you know, you go to the ads and extensions section of Google ads in order to upload videos. That's not the way it works. Uh, we're going to draw upon the videos that you've uploaded into your YouTube channel. So the prerequisite for this video is you, of course, need a Google ads um, uh, uh, campaign or account, excuse me. Uh, but you're also going to need a YouTube channel, which if you don't have one takes like four seconds to set up. As a matter of fact, you probably have one and don't even know it. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that in just a moment. Um, so let's dive right in. When you're in your Google Ads account, you're going to go up here to Tools and Settings. And then from Tools and Settings, we're going to scroll down to Linked Accounts. And this is a cool place to just spend some time in because you start to see some of the stuff that you can do uh, inside of Google Ads and things that you can connect it with. If you're a Salesforce user in particular, I'd really encourage you to spend some time with the Salesforce integration. Quick aside. Um, we're going to choose YouTube which I know you've already guessed, and uh, select details. Uh, it'll say, in order to link a YouTube channel, you must own the channel or be granted permission by the channel owner. This is good for you to know, too, because it means that you can actually be a little bit more expansive. So if you have a, a strategic partner or, you know, a parent organization or a child organization and, and you want to get, you know, um, if you want to cross-pollinate, let's say, your ad campaign and your, and your YouTube channels, you can do that, uh, which is kind of nifty. So we're going to select add channel. And now it's going to ask for the URL for my YouTube channel. So in order to grab that, I just go to YouTube. And when I'm in the tubes, uh, up here in the top right-hand corner, if you click on your, your icon, you'll see a little, uh, the very first option actually is your channel. And when I select a uh, channel, it gives me the URL for my channel. Now I'm going to select everything uh, before the question mark. And uh, generally speaking, anytime you see a question mark, what they're doing after the fact is uh, adding, you know, effectively metadata really um, so we're going to capture everything prior to it just to keep our URL clean and then I'm going to paste it into this little search bar um, so now it shows me the channel which is my ads training channel perfect and then I say do I own this channel or uh, someone else owns this channel um, and so I'm going to say I own the channel continue to YouTube uh, now it's going to ask you know you've seen this third-party verification before a million times uh, this channel, by the way, was suspended because I uploaded a bunch of dummy videos that I found online, MP4s, uh, for a YouTube training, and Google didn't like that. So um, I'm connecting this YouTube channel, and now that this channel is connected, uh, Google gives me the opportunity to say to, to name this link, which is actually really helpful. Um, and so what I might say is like um, ads training account link. This is helpful for you within YouTube because you get to track all of the, the connections that you've created. And then I can say what this person is able to do and see, um, you know, what access they have. We, of course, want to enable all access just so there's no restrictions or limitations. So I go ahead and select link. And uh, now that this is done, if I come in here and I refresh, what we should see, bam. Now I've got my YouTube channel linked. Now here's what's really kind of cool is I could have multiple YouTube channels linked. Um, and I get to draw upon all of uh, the, the media in those YouTube channels. Quick pro tip. If you're uploading videos, which by the way, when you're in YouTube, just go up to this little create icon and select upload video. But when you're uploading a video, my very strong recommendation is to list uh, uh, the video as unlisted. And uh, the reason you want to do that is because um, Google recommends that you split test with five pieces of media or more when you're running video ads. And so you're going to have, you know, five, six, seven, eight videos that all basically say the same thing, but they have different, you know, hooks or value propositions or calls to action or whatever. Um, and you don't want all those videos public because it's going to make your channel look super messy. This is especially true if you're, if you're working actively to cultivate your channel. So if you list them as unlisted, then it doesn't show up and clog up your channel, but you can still use them inside your advertising, which is really cool. I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Comment if you have questions. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.